Hey everybody, this is Knight from I'm Your Pocky Cosplay Group. Um, for those who don't know me, I am the leader of the cosplay group. I go by Knight Utena, or Utena, however you want to say it, but you can just call me Knight for short. So this is like a little update of what's been going on in our group lately. So if you haven't noticed, we haven't really done anything the last couple of months. We've pretty much been in hibernation because, you know, during the holidays you get busy with shopping, family, and just life itself. So um, most of the members are just busy with life and school. Um, uh, let's see, anything else? We haven't really haven't done anything because of that. Um, but we do plan to go to certain cons. Um, one is AOD, also known as Animation on Display. Um, it will just be me and Hana. Um, we have like a few other members, but they don't really have the time or the money to go to cons that much. So it's mostly Hana and I are the most active in the group. Um, we'll be going for both days. I will probably be Viper, um, also known as Mamo on um, Kate, uh, Hitman Reborn. We'll just make it short for Hitman Reborn. And probably my new cosplay, which I'll show later in the video. And Hana will probably be either Belle or um, she has a few new cos costumes in, but um, I think she's looking for. Um, more stuff to add to it. I just know a, a few items that she's gotten so far. Uh, another uh, convention we plan to go to is Fanime, of course. Um, not sure, we'll probably go with all four days. Um, I definitely need to go for all four days at least because on Saturday, you know, it's mostly the masquerade, if I'm correct. And I plan to join up sort of, ugh, I am so sorry. Paper Sword Party Group. In their little masquerade, their skit for the masquerade. Um, I can't tell you what it is. It's a big secret. So I can only say mm, not much. Sorry. I just gonna I'm just gonna be in their group. So this is gonna be my first time doing a skit. Especially at a big con. Um, I don't know if Hana's plan to be part of this or not, she's kind of debating, so we'll see about that. Um, for Fanime, I'm going to be Viper once again, um, and then this other character from an old series that used to play in Toonami, if anybody remembers, it only probably my age would remember, not, not many of the new generation know about this show, maybe a little, but it's not that big anymore. Um, I'll probably be in his sub armor and then his casual wear as seen in this illustration. And then, then there's the um, the costume for the masquerades. So that's like four. So I'll probably be those. I'll be those four and maybe add in one of my old costumes such as Madame Red. Or maybe my Umi, since I've worked so hard to, you know, make her, and I've only worn her twice. Ryo of the Wildfire! So this is my new costume. Well, so far it's just the wig. Um, I've been working on the um, sub-armor. Well, not much. It's just, um... I've been working on just the layout. So far I got the chest and I've been working on the knee patch and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably not make the costume myself by hand, like sewing, because I am not a person who's good at sewing. I've tried sewing before and it's not that easy for me. Even if it is like making a ginger man pattern, I can't do it. <laughs> to my neighbor's daughter to actually make the costume for me. Which would be great because I'd rather have my costumes look, you know, in good shape and look great for this, especially for this costume because I am such a Rune Warriors fan and I would want to make this costume as perfect as possible. I mean, I've tried as like as possible as you can see to get the curls that Ryu has and pretty much the bangs and 
pretty much th as much as close as possible with this hairstyle. I was pretty happy with it, and this is the first time I've actually cut, um, cut and styled a wig before. Um, thanks to um, Fighting Team Dreamers tutorials, I've had you know for this result. Because if I didn't have any help at all, it would probably not look as good as this. So this is my new costume. This one I am totally loving. I love Roman Warriors, so I like all heart and soul into this costume. I even have this little um, thing that I bought at Michael's or Joanne's, I, can't, I think it was Michael's, and it's actually just a red nose reindeer device, you know, just a thing you put on your nose and it lights up because Ryder does have this orb that glows red or this his symbol glows red and you really can't tell but Here's a little bit, let me turn it right there, and if you pull on it, you know, it flashes. Um, I haven't figured out how to keep it from flashing or just stay, so I just have to pretty much just tie it around my hand and just pull on it until it looks like it's, like me holding it, but it's kind of hard, <laughs> with like not holding the string. But yeah, it's tilted, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to tell on this camera, yeah. So, so far that's all I have, other materials I have for the sub armor. He does have a casual wear, not seen in the series, but seen in an um, illustration I have. Um, it's just a red t-shirt. It says Samurai Troopers, Ryo, or at least Samurai Trooper in the front with his symbol. And then I suppose it says Samurai Troopers, you know, same thing, and then it says Ryo because the other character, the other um, member of the Roman Warriors has a similar t-shirt and you just see his um, sleeve here and it says Shin and Samurai Troopers, blah blah blah. So I'm going to pretty much base off that. This is my new costume. Um, this is all I have so far. Um, why Ryo? Well, the reason why I picked Ryo is because, one, I am a huge Roman Warriors fan. I have certain um, books and a magazine that's where they are on the front cover, it's the um, An America and it's been the front cover and it has a huge article about them in the series. Um, the second reason is because when I was younger, I, you know, you take those quizzes, like which character you'd be paired up to or which character you like. Um, I mostly got Ryu, strangely enough, but I mostly got Ryu and he's the, the unofficial leader of the group. He's quite of a hothead, but he has a good heart, you know, he's the all-around good boy. Um, he kind of does jump um, to conclusions or just jumps without looking. Um, he is an emotional person. He takes a lot of blame um, whenever his team is hurting or, you know, something's just wrong and it, it damages his team and he blames it on himself. So mostly like personality wise. <laughs> uh, I am a bit of a hothead myself. I have a quite a short temper and I'm a quite a, you know, hothead. Um, I am a kind of an emotional person as well. Um, so most I got Ryo, that's why. Um, I don't really look like Ryo, of course. I do plan to get a chest binder later. Um, uh, he does have blue eyes, but I I just don't feel like putting that much money. I mean, I would love to have this perfectly, but after reading um, certain comments, posts on like cosplay.com, um, I decided to not do that because I just don't have the money for it. Maybe if, if I had done this years ago, I, I probably would have, but you know, money is, just doesn't come that easy. Even when you have two jobs, it's just the economy, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, so, Ryo. Sub armor is gonna be red and white. It's pretty much gonna be like a huge bodysuit. And then the casual wear, and it's red, because that's what his armor, his color is red. So I hope I'll see you guys at the conventions we'll be going to. And if you recognize me, please say hi. Or you can give me a hug, just don't glump me to the floor, okay?